Every Saturday night at 8, catch an all-new original movie premiere on Hallmark Channel. Ariel Kebble and Nick Bateman star A Brush with Love. Painting a dream life is easy. I'm falling for Max. You know how Max is. He can't commit to anything. But real life is a bit more complicated. Who is that? It's like he just stepped out of my painting. A Brush with Love starts right now. Part of Spring Fever on Hallmark Channel. in art, there are no mistakes. There's no end goal or perfect finished product. What we're trying to do here is just take what's in your heart and put it on the canvas. Miss Jamie. Yes, Lizzie. How do we know what's in our hearts? Oh, well, we don't always know. But that's why we're here, right? To figure it out. So, what do you think? I think it's amazing. We could build out multiple rooms. We could do reception, the galleries, so we could have art shows and community events. I mean, I think it's perfect. And this is just our second location. Where do you see what I'm planning for our third and fourth? You are so excited. I am. <laughs> That's what I love to do. I spent my life building businesses. We all know this past year of retirement has been hard on me. Hard on all of us. <laughs> This is a dream come true. Jamie needs help expanding Canvas Creations, and I need to be working again. Yes. How do we make this a reality? Let's talk terms. OK. Thank you. Have I told you in the last five minutes? Mm, no, not in the last five minutes. <laughs> Should I come back later? No, we'll stop. <laughs> It's not our fault. Spring is in the year. Yeah, which would be a great excuse, except you guys were like this last winter and summer and fall. I gotta go. Sugar. Mm. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ooh, so cute. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Well, maybe it's time to start dating again. I mean, it's been a year. Oh, let's, please, just... Change the subject. And speaking of subject change, mm -hmm. I just toured a space that would be perfect for the second Canvas Creations. That's great. What? Canvas Creations was supposed to be the thing you did on the side of painting. And if you expand, you're not going to have time to paint or submit to showcases and exhibitions. Which brings me to my exciting news. Three weeks till the Cherry Blossom Arts Festival. The festival lost its usual venue of the Windsor Manor and is switching to the Botanical Gardens. Oh, that is. So, employee of the Special Events Permitting Office, I'm going to be working directly with the organizers of the Arts Festival. I could put in a good word for you, for your submission for the Emerging Artist Showcase. That's very sweet. And I do appreciate your meddling. But I didn't submit. What? Why not? Because I'm not painting, and I haven't been in almost a year. And even if I was painting, every year I submit to the festival and get rejected. I know it's hard, but you have to keep trying. You can't give up. I don't want to, but every year I watch another artist win the festival's prize, a solo show in Paris. My dream. And I'm happy for them. I, I mean, I really am. It's just starting to feel like it's never going to happen for me. And this is my dream to make it more than a dream. I've got an idea. Come. I'm back! <laughs> Not
not that I'm complaining, because this is literally my favorite place on Earth. But what are we doing here? We are getting you supplies. Ooh, for what exactly? I think you already own almost everything in the store. You don't have poster board. And why do I need poster board? Oh, for my sixth grade science project. Remember four years ago in Planner and had no luck dating? I remember a lot of ice cream Sunday pity parties. They were delicious. <laughs> and then I heard about that job at the special events permitting office. My dream job. And then I got it. And then about a poster board. It wasn't luck. It wasn't destiny. I made it happen with no a vision, vision board. board. I made that vision board. Came true. They came true because you took action and went after what you wanted, not because you collaged. Took action because my vision board helped me realize what I wanted. Ava? No. Jamie? As an artist, I'm sure you all agree that images are very powerful, and when you have a clear vision of what you want, you'll find a clear path to achieving it. Besides, what have you got to lose? My artistic dignity? We'll take everything. We're not taking any of it. Oh, this too. No need to thank me. I wasn't going to. If you're walking me home to get those collagen supplies in my door... Actually, there's another reason I'm walking you home, and I'm sorry I waited until now to bring it up. Oh, you finally rented out your unit. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I know it's sudden, but it just kind of happened overnight. Hey, neighbor. Please tell me your brother is not my new... I'm sorry. I know Max drives you crazy. But he doesn't drive me crazy. Okay, yeah, he drives me crazy. But you know how much trouble I was having finding a sublet. Hey. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, I thought you were in San Diego. Oh, that was last spring. I was in Tucson, and then Boise, and then Ava mentioned a temp job back here, and I thought, why not? Max got a job as a landscape architect. Groundskeeper. You got a master's degree in landscape architecture to then work as a groundskeeper of the botanical gardens, where Jamie might be displaying her work next month at the Cherry Blossom Arts Festival. If she vision boards. Not only will I see you at the gardens, but I will see you at home, too. Would you believe it? Great big world, and we end up living right next to each other. I really can't believe it. Okay. Who knows? Maybe you'll even like having him as your neighbor. And if achieving your dreams isn't reason enough to vision board, you can always collage a picture of Max moving away. Well, that's reason enough for me. You need help with those? You know what? This is the last of it. Um, and I'm sure I like my Jamie Hines helping me out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, good luck, you two. No matter how long it's been since I've seen you, you're still the same. Like the paint in your hair and everything. Well, I am a painter. You know, the, the paint. Right. Welcome home. Thanks, neighbor. Oh. If you ever want to come by for a beer, I microbrew my own. Oh, that is a tempting offer. I'll keep in mind. Yeah, I'll do the same. Yes! <laughs> you forgot your... Uh... Collaging supplies. <laughs> so, you are collaging. Not yet, but I'm thinking about it. Thanks. Hi, honey. The real estate agent just sent over the lease. We need to decide by the end of the week. Well, why wait? I mean, the space is exactly what we're looking for. You don't want to give it a little bit more thought? No. Why? Are you having second thoughts? No. I'm certain I want to do this. I love building this out and getting to work with you, but... I'm sure you're sure. Well, I'm sure. I'll look over the lease now. Love you. Love you. Bye.
morning. Morning. You going for a run? Yep. Me too. Have a great run. Jimmy, call me crazy, but I'm starting to think that you're unhappy that we're neighbors. Did that do something to bother you? <laughs> you mean this pranks and jokes at my expense? Max, nice. every time I'm around you, I get hurt or humiliated. For one example. Okay. Third grade. You nicknamed me Jamie Smilly Man. We were kids. Which stuck with me through high school when you wrote me love letters for an entire year to prank me into thinking I had a secret admirer. That was... A joke? Oh, I know, Max. With you, everything's a joke. On me. Every time you're around me, you're teasing or immature. You're describing... Okay. Good. Running buddies? Fine. Good. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Let's, uh, can we try that again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, you're, you're painting. Uh, you working on any showcases or something? No, um, I'm not showing right now. Uh, I mean, why not? Because I'm not painting right now. Okay. I opened an art school a year ago, and I'm focusing on that. Okay, well, uh, well, your dating life, what happened there? You were dating someone, that ended, like... Actually, I forgot something at home. I'll run back. So, how's it going, Max? Fine. Fine. Oh, no, that bad. Worse. Uh, we'll remember your vision board. Okay. Speaking of vision board, I brought mine. Ava, I just don't want you to give up on your dreams. Hey, what if I'm not giving up on my dreams? What if my dreams are just changed? And what if they're not? Why don't you just vision board to double check? Because I don't collage and paint. I asked myself what I really wanted, then I made a board, and I focused on it every day, and it came. Guess who I'm about to meet with? Who? The curator of the Cherry Blossom Mars Festival. I could put in a good word for the Emerging Artist Showcase. Thank you. I've mentioned your relentless, right? Once or twice. <laughs> So nice to meet you. And you too. So <laughs> nice to put a face to a name. And thank you so much for expediting the permits. When we lost our venue, I didn't know what we were going to do. Oh, my pleasure. I know what the festival means to this town, and the Botanical Gardens is going to be a gorgeous venue. And so convenient. The Herman Arts Foundation is just down the street, York and Seven. Oh, that's a block away from my best friend's art school. Asking about painting lessons. Well, Actually... Does your friend not do painting lessons? Oh, no, 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 she does. But speaking of my friend... Oh, hi, Michael. I missed the meeting. Sorry. Well, I'll fill you in. The permitting is taken care of, and everything is on schedule. Oh, and that art school down the street from us, the one that you were looking at in classes, yeah. the teacher sounds great. has a private showing with the curator of the art festival. I'm hoping you'd view your work for the Emerging Artist Showcase. Uh, which would be great, except I have no work for her to review. What about the landscapes? I submitted all my best stuff last year. Wait, you're painting? Not exactly. Vision boarding? Show me. Now. <sighs> Jamie. It's beautiful. Well, I thought about what I wanted, and 
This just came to me. It's after I win the showcase. My first solo show in Paris. This is an example and this is the man I love bringing me a rose to congratulate me. In this moment, I have everything I've ever wanted. And although this may never happen, <laughs> I have to say thank you. I'm painting again. And I'm happy for you. Now finish it so it can happen. Because you are about to make all your dreams come true. Final signature. Thank you. Thank you. Should we celebrate? I uh, saw a donut shop down the street. We could review our notes for our meeting with the contractors. Do you mind if we do it tomorrow? I know, I know, we have so much to do, but I've class. I want to get some painting in. Ava got me a showing with the curator of the Cherry Blossoms Art Festival. That's wonderful, honey. So you're painting again. Hi. Um, might you like to join the art class? Uh, Do you take drop-ins? Um, they're all... Extremely talented artists? Yes, that too. I didn't realize this is a school for children. <laughs> Sorry about the mix-up. Well, don't be intimidated. It was everyone's first day once. It's for kids. It's for the young at heart. So, today, we're learning about composition. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Jamie, by the way. Hi, I'm Michael. And the light is coming from? Here. Very good. How am I doing? Well, we don't give grades here, but you're doing great. You really cut the light here, which is difficult. It's a little too controlled. A little too concerned with the outcome. You can see all that from this. Art is very revealing. Don't beat yourself up over it. I actually struggle with it in my work, too. So what do you do to contract it? Well, when I remember to, I try to let go of expectations of perfection. <laughs> and just relax and let myself in the process. So, what do you suggest I do? Take a new canvas and this time, don't make, just let yourself feel. Jury's out of my innate creativity, but uh, the upside is I've got a lot of kindling. So. <laughs> no, look, this is progress. Don't give up yet. It was just your first lesson. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you might like the 13 to 15 year old class better. <laughs> or well, maybe a one on one. Um, do you offer private instruction? I do. Do you have availability Thursday, 5 p.m.? I do. That would be perfect. He's professional. Ooh. But he is really handsome. <laughs> and he has an accent. Oh, maybe. Have you decided what you're going to show Renee tomorrow? No. I wanted to paint something new. But what are we doing here? Max is redoing our garden. Max? <clears throat> Does that mean he's meeting us here? Yeah. Why? Don't tell me you're gonna run away just to avoid him. I wouldn't phrase it like that. You guys? Hmm? Yeah, 
Uh, Renee and I will be by at 10 on Thursday. Good luck painting. Thank you. I need the good luck. You headed home? I can, um, walk you. Uh, you know, actually, I have to go to the farmer's market, so... That's perfect. I have to head there and pick up some basil. I'm making pesto for dinner. Pesto? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, did I hear Ava say that you were painting again? Yeah. I'm working on a submission for a showcase. Well, that's awesome. I was actually getting kind of sad thinking you were going to make art anymore. Kind of a big fan. What? I remember when you were a kid, you'd be out in your yard for hours just painting with whatever you could find. Chalk, sticks, dirt. Do you remember when you made that massive mud mural? That was awesome. Yeah, well, too bad you can't make a living off the sidewalk art. Right? Yeah, you've also told me your school's going well. Yeah. My dad and I are actually teaming up to open some new locations. Congrats, that's... Hold on. If you're running two locations and working with kids, where's that going to leave time for paint? I'll paint on the side. Uh, Jamie, you're not a paint on the sider. Don't you think you should be focusing on your art? Oh, so now you're an expert on how I should live my life? <laughs> well, hang on a second. Let me get a pen. I'll just take notes. Okay. First note. Really? You're giving me advice on how to commit? I could commit. <laughs> to what? Uh, to following my heart, even though half the time I have no clue where that takes me. Okay, according to Ava, over the past six years, it's taken you to over a dozen cities, jobs, and girlfriends. <laughs> okay, I am trying to figure out what I want, okay? Maybe. Or maybe it's just you like the new, the chase. And then when something news is this novelty. Like I said, I'm figuring out what I want. I'm not as lucky as you. You've always known what you want. To paint. Well, as usual, Mac. Interesting. Okay, wait. Let me guess. You forgot something at home, and now you have to run and get. Bye, Max. See you at home. to wake up. Renee's gonna be here in less than an hour. Have you decided what you're gonna show? Oh, Jamie, it's beautiful. Renee's gonna love it. And I'm not showing her that. Then why were you up all night painting it? Because I felt inspired. But I'm not showing Renee a vision board. I'll just uh, display some of my old landscapes I haven't submitted before. We'll go clean up. So, Jamie. Yes? When did you start painting? When I was in high school. Well, actually, I guess I've always been painting in some form or another. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to sit and make art with anything I could I started seriously painting when I was 15, and then art school, and got an MFA. Well, and there are so many successful elements here, but I'm just not feeling the emotion. Some of your work feels as if it's forced, almost as if you're playing it safe. Do you have anything else that maybe I could take a look at? Not at this time. Well, then I thank you for sharing. It has truly been a privilege. Actually, she does. No, I don't. She does. You do. I don't. She does. It's beautiful. It's from Jamie's new series about dreams. Well, then I would love to see it. Right this way. Uh, it's heartfelt. And bold, and it takes a chance. <gasps> Do you think you can get it to me in time for the art festival? Yes. So I'm in the showcase. 
This isn't a showcase? Congratulations. Thank you. Hey! Wow, you've been busy. Uh, just some potential plans how we could use the space, that list of contractors and vendors, and the start of an operations manual for hiring and best practices. I also emailed it to you. So much. Uh, I'm excited, and I've got the time, and I know you got a lot on your plate. Well, it's just until I turn in this painting, and then I promise you will have my undivided attention. Okay, honey. I almost forgot the most important part. What's that? work going? A walk in the park. It's only my fourth day, so we'll see. Four days? Wow, that's a commitment for you. Can I take a look? Sure. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it's easy to make something beautiful when all this is your subject. Oh, you're modest, but you're right. Cherry blossom season is pretty much what I thought of. Yeah. They're pretty perfect. Their form, their color, their composition. You know, it's funny. I've never really thought of them like that. Well, what do you think about? How they make me feel. And how's that? Like perfection does exist. Although, pleading, like life. It's all the more precious for its uncertainty. Eva told me that you got accepted into that showcase. Uh, all with her help. Yes. And first prize is a solo show in Paris. Your dream. I'm surprised you remember that. Really? We've known each other for 24 years. You think you mentioned Paris once or twice or a thousand times? Yeah, it's an artist cliche. Show in Paris. Well, who cares if it's cliche? You know, for once, I think I can actually get better attitude. <laughs> so thank you. I should get going. So thank you for the walk. You're welcome. Come back. Oh, bring your students. because painting glass is tricky, especially in this light. So it forces us to stop and really look. You know, and then upon studying it, you realize it's, it's so much more than just glass in a box. Slow lights, shade, tone. How do you know that? I love art. Uh -huh. I painted when I was young. I actually had delusions of being a professional artist. Ah, yeah. well, in the art world, we call delusions dreams. Uh, so what happens? I wanted a career path with a bit more stability. Mm. But also, I found it too hard to put my work out there. To put myself out there in that way. Mm. I know what you mean. <laughs> Plus, I hate getting messy. Ah, well, that may be hard to avoid because art is... <laughs> I have an idea. With the baby steps putting yourself out there, Canvas Creations is having their spring show. Maybe you could display something. <laughs> Give it some thought. What about you? What do you what's your work like? You know, what do you paint? Ooh, I'm not really sure how to answer that. Well, I took a year away from painting, and now I'm back with something different. It looks different. Feels different. 
So will you show me this magical painting of yours? Yeah, I'd love to. It's done. That means I get to see you again. I'd like that. So how was your date? It wasn't a date, it was a lesson. But I think we might see each other again. Like as a date or a lesson? <laughs> I'm not sure. Just as it seemed like he was going to ask me out, he got a phone call and I had to leave. Oh, and how's the canvas great? Honestly, I feel like I'm not really pulling my weight with all the painting I'm doing. Oh, in Paris? To do marketing? I don't know. full of good ideas. Ugh, don't make me remind you of all the bad ideas you've had over the years. Let's see, golf cart in a lake? <laughs> Ring a bell? That was a good one. You know what, let's focus on the present. Mm -hmm. I got another good idea. When you're done here, come meet me at the Rose Garden. I'll give you a special behind the scenes tour. Oh, thank you, but I'm busy. I can't hear you. Uh, and I'll see you later. This is our next project. Wow. Yeah, we uh, just finished the design, and then we go into the planting process. Well, do you think you'll stick around long enough to see it finished? I don't know. But I bet you're eager to have a new neighbor, so... Actually, I was kind of learning to enjoy having you as a neighbor. Oh, thanks, Jamie. I wish it didn't need the actually or kind of or learning to, but besides that, yeah. I think that is the nicest thing you've ever said to me, the landscape architect position. I'm confused. You have a master's in landscape architecture. I do. So you're a landscape architect. Yeah, I am. So why don't you apply for the position? No, no, no. Way too much responsibility. It's all managing, coordinating, and bureaucracy. And as a groundskeeper, I just get to play in the dirt all day. Of course. You know, who knows how long I want to be around. There's no way I'm getting tied down with those obligations and responsibilities. What do you mean, life? No, that's not life. Life is passion and fun and traveling and... Life should be an adventure. Me, personally, I don't have any regrets. But never committing to anything has regrets of its own. Now who's the expert on someone else's life? You're exasperating. Yet... Yeah. You are smiling. Let's go. Ava said that your vision board was going well. Oh, she did, did she? Yeah. What else did she say? She mentioned something about a shadowy dream man. Oh, it was in passing, but uh, this dream man, who is he? I don't know. What do you think he's like? Okay. He's kind. And passionate, charitable, intelligent. Well, he loves art. And of course, he's very handsome. Of course. But how does he make you feel? Because there's tons of intelligent, smart, articulate men out there. Me, for example. But what matters is how he makes you feel. Hmm. I'll give it some thought. Right now, I have to go. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry I had to run off yesterday and we didn't get to finish our conversation about seeing each other again. For another lesson? I was thinking more like a date. Oh. Sure. Okay. Uh, tomorrow night? Great. Perfect. Okay. out without giving this to you, but it uh, made me think of you. It's breathtaking. 
See you tomorrow night? Yes. The vision board man is Michael. It's like he just... This is weird. I mean, there has to be a logical explanation for it. Sometimes in life, there are no logical explanations. Like with love. <laughs> is that Michael? No, it's Max. Max who? Max, your brother. Excuse me? My brother is texting you, and you're smiling. But you're not just, like, smiling. You are smiling. Smiling like anything. I'm definitely not smiling like that. Nobody is smiling like that. Ava, you asked us to get along, so we're getting along. That's it. But I can only stay for a little. I'm meeting my dad in an hour. Okay. Setting up for the Cherry Blossom Art Festival. Yeah. Oh. Ta -da. Seriously? Hey, you still remember how to drive this thing? I think? All right, yeah, you put one foot in front of the other and you oh, pedal. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, why don't you take that one, Ray? How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> is it weird that we're doing this? Why would it be weird? Because this is like total dating activity, and we are not dating. Oh, no, not a date, just uh, two friends cycling. Uh-huh. Well, since you brought it up, what's going on with your dating life, huh? I thought for sure you ended up marrying your ex to whatever his name was. Ha! I also thought I would marry whatever his name was. So, what happened? Well, he said he thought we'd lost our spark. And if he stayed with me, he'd feel like he was making this... Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. What did you think? Well, I was heartbroken. And I thought for sure more than a spark. Their history and compatibility, sharing lives. But now I'm starting to see he was right. We would have been settling. The breakup was really hard. It made me question everything. I mean, I, I was so sure my life would turn out this one way. And then suddenly I was 29, single. My art wasn't cutting out the way I thought it would, and I realized I couldn't keep living a dream. So you opened Canvas Creations? Yeah. It was sort of a plan B that's become a plan A. <sighs> what about you? You... One? No. Not yet. Actually been fun. Oh, <laughs> I just wish it didn't, it didn't need to actually again. I should get going. But there's something we should do first. Remember, we always used to do this after a bike ride. Brings back good memories. It does. I'd spring when you pulled the secret admirer prank on me. Your last letter said, my secret admirer would meet me at the bike rentals and reveal himself. I was so excited, I told all my friends. Jamie, I, I, I was... Max, it's okay. We were kids. You know, the funny thing is, I actually really liked my secret admirer. <laughs> I felt like he liked Despite how mad I was at you for that. I actually kept the letters. <laughs> I know, it's because... I don't know, they meant so much to me. Where'd you get that material anyway? I wrote it. No, really, come on. Really, I wrote it. Oh, well, how'd you come up with it? I thought of you. I thought of the look on your face when you would fall for the joke. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bye, Max. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Renee, it's Jamie. I wanted to let you know I'll be turning in my painting tomorrow. Come in. I just need to grab my back. Sure. Wow. Lovely place. Thanks. Shall we? Yes. <laughs> I thought we'd check out this music in the park event. Yeah. You okay? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Just a funny coincidence. Oh, I didn't know they had live music here. Mm, it's a new monthly arts and culture series. Uh, different sponsors bring in musicians and artists. I'm thinking of hosting a painting exhibit here this summer. You're gonna host? I might have buried the lead a bit, but I actually head up an arts foundation. Really? The Herman Arts Foundation. The Herman Arts Foundation that sponsors the Cherry Blossom Art Festival? Yes, yeah. The painting I told you I was finishing is for the emergency. Whoa. Yeah. There's something wrong? Oh. Uh, well, I guess I'm just wondering if this is a conflict of interest. Oh, no. That's it's a happy coincidence. Okay. I don't judge the showcase. I have no effect on the outcome. Ah. Sway on who wins. I see. So you'll be at the judge. Of course. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing is wrong. You are never going to believe what happened. What? What's wrong? How was the date? Better question is, who is the date? Michael is actually Michael Herman. From the Herman Arts Foundation? No way. Yes way. When I told Renee about Canvas Creations, she mentioned the head of the foundation was interested, but I didn't realize that that was Michael. Huh? How funny. No, not funny. Why? Who cares? So you went on a date. He's not a judge, right? No, he's not a judge. And I won't be a contestant. Why not? Because I can't display a painting of a shadowy man giving me the exact rose Michael gave me standing in front of the date in front of the art exhibition exactly like the one he plans on hosting this summer. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah. What am I going to do? My painting is... I have nothing. No, you have something. What? Do you have five days? Great. I know I said I would deliver it today, but I need a few more days. Jamie, I need your painting in four days. Will you have it finished? Definitely. I have already made waves accepting your unfinished submission. Otherwise, I will have to give you spots to someone else. I understand. Okay. Thank you. Honey, I thought we didn't start construction till next week. The contractor had a cancellation so he could begin earlier. Oh, that's right. Dad texted me about that. Hey, where's Dad? Oh, he's been here with the workers since 7 a.m., so he just went to get them lunch. That is so sweet. Ugh, I feel bad. I mean, I should be the one here at 7 a.m. I should be the one getting them lunch. It's okay, honey. He knows this is a hectic time. I've been waiting. Tell me all about Michael. Ugh. He's great. He's smart, cultured, very handsome. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is literally my vision board come to life. Somehow. I don't know, there's something missing. When I first met him, I got... Like, I know, I, there's not always an immediate connection. So we're going out again. He's going to take me to an art show of me. So, I think it just takes time. Jamie, mm -hmm. you shouldn't have to convince yourself. Who is it? Uh, 
That's me. Come in. Hi. Hey. I just made a bunch of cookies, and I figured I better get them out of my apartment before I eat them all, and I thought of you. Ah, oh, well, that is very sweet. <laughs> is this your painting for the showcase? Yeah. Can I see it? Um, it's very... Yeah, but I thought you were almost done this. Well, long story short, be careful what you wish for. My last painting went awry, and instead of taking it as a sign I should give up on art, I've never wanted to paint more. That's great. Yeah, but I will... What would you tell one of your students? I would tell them not to focus on making, but on feeling. I would tell them to have fun. I would tell them to be playful. Yeah. That was playful, no? You didn't. I did. painting while also teaching and working with my dad to open another campus creations. Incredible. You think? Of course. It'll be a steady source of income that gives you security. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, the expansion means I won't have any time to paint. Now, maybe, but it's a short-term sacrifice for a long-term gain. And you can paint on the side, right? Yeah, but I'm a painter, not a paint on the side. Yes, but... Art is a living, it's an uncertain future, as you know. I'm not saying you should give up on painting. I know how difficult the art world is. And it's good to have a back. Should we see the work? Mm-hmm. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me. Thank you for coming. Michael, I think you're wonderful. And I've really enjoyed our time together. But... But... You're using the past tense. I mean, we have so much in common. It seems like we'd be perfect. And yet somehow I just don't think we're the right match. If that's something you want. I'll give us some thought. Okay. You never stop. Well, there is a special magic to night gardening. The flowering plants come out. 
the jasmine. I'm glad I caught you. I have something for you. Come on. Wait here one second. Okay. For your inspiration. And if uh, that doesn't work, my micro bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. That's very sweet. Thanks. Good night, Jamie. Hey, Dad. Hi, honey. Just wondering if you're on your way. We were supposed to pick out paint today. I'm actually already back at the studio. Dad, I am so sorry. My piece is due in three days, and I was up all night working on it. I, uh, I completely forgot we were meeting. That's that's okay. We can pick out paint some other day. But uh, Jamie, good luck with your piece. Thank you. Thank you so much for picking it up. Oh, you're welcome. Cute. Hey, you have not texted me back since your date with Michael. Are you hiding something well, from me? Actually. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Oh. Thank you for picking up the extra cupcakes. No problem. <laughs> so what do you think? Your daughter is so talented. It's Jamie. Yes. Ah! I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> so, what do you think? Um, well, I think it's safe to say this is an occasion where you can say even a kid could have done this one. Ha ha. Kid. It's great. Lucky to have you as a teacher. Wow. Vice versa. <laughs> Excuse me. Is that Michael? Yeah, I didn't know he was coming. Hi. Wow. Well, I'm glad you decided to show your work. I decided it's good to put myself out there. Even if I don't get the reception I hope for. Jamie, I won't try to pretend. I like you. Just hoping we'd have a future. But I know that, like with painting, what matters is how it feels. Who is that? That's Jamie's dream man. Wait, wait, who, who is that? His name is Michael. He runs the arts festival. Jamie's dating him. What? I'm sorry, Max. I didn't want you to get hurt. Why would I get hurt? Come on, you have a thing for Jamie. You always had a thing for Jamie. A thing? Well, what is the right word for 15 spoken feelings? Max, maybe it's time to speak those feelings. Because we saw you and Jamie before, and it looks like she feels it too. Yeah, I gotta go. Baby stuff. Hey, uh, you hungry? I ate dinner. 
I could eat. Wow, your apartment is so nice. I'll try not to be offended by how surprised you sound. Whoa. I thought that you shouldn't have to wait till your show in Paris to eat French food. <laughs> well, I have no idea how I'll possibly win that show, but thank you. You know how to stir? Ah, uh, stirring is about the limit of my culinary talents. Well, at least you have that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you cooked. Yeah, you know, I dabble. Tonight I made a Parisian dish called palm alago. Ooh. It's just a fancy way of saying mashed potatoes with fondue on it. So the French birth Saison and Monet and now their greatest masterpiece, maize water lilies. Oh, French fries. <laughs> of course. <sighs> <laughs> um, I saw you at the art exhibit talking to... Mm. Michael. Right. What's going on between you two? Well, uh, I was teaching... And we went on a date. And then I ended things. Why? You know, I'm not... Sure, exactly. <laughs> but things are over between you now? Yeah. Okay, um... Glad to hear that. I have something to tell you. Okay. Remember that whole year I pretended to be your secret admirer? Mm-hmm. I wasn't pretending. It wasn't a joke. Everything that I wrote was true. That's how I felt. I was gonna tell you that day at the bikes. I was there. But when I saw you, I just, I chickened out. And now I'm here trying to find the courage to tell you that 15 years I'm still an admirer. But I don't want it to be a secret anymore. It's for you. Oh. Well, um. Thank you for telling me. I mean, I really don't know what to say. I Spending time with you has been great. But, Max, I worry that next week you'll be interested in someplace else, something else, someone else. I mean, I know you. No, no. You, you think you know me. But this... This is who I am. Someone who wants to be with you. Someone who always has. Oh. Think about it. These cheesy potatoes are not going to eat themselves. <laughs> bon appetit. So, uh, Sundance or Golden Light? You decide. I've never known you to be laissez-faire about paint. Yeah, they're both good options. You don't like either? I think I have some samples in the back. I finished my painting. That's wonderful. And as soon as I did, I felt like... And that made me realize I want to be painting. And on my breaks from painting, teaching. I don't want to be running a big business. I don't want to be hiring or marketing. So tell your dad. But he's so excited. I mean, I haven't seen him this happy in years. Plus, we've sunk so much time and money into this place. It just, it, I mean, it feels wrong to consider pulling away, but It feels worse to keep going, knowing every minute I'd be here, I would want to be painting. I found the 
sample. Great. Ah, Jamie. Please. Full disclosure, it's not the painting you approved, but... Renee, I think it is so much better. Here's a picture. Oh. <gasps> and you'll have this delivered to me by tonight? Yes, tonight. Avoiding you. Yes, you are, since your date with Michael. What happened? Did you elope? Uh, no. <laughs> the date was fine. Michael likes me. He expressed he hoped we'd have a future. Why do I feel like I should hold the confetti? Because I ended it. What? Why? Because I'm falling for Max. Oh, Jamie, you know I love Max, but you know how Max anything. I know. Michael seems so perfect. Are you talking about a future? Again, I know. It makes no sense. You painted that whole vision board about Michael. I mean, that has... I realized what I need. I just don't want you or Max to get hurt. I don't either. Oof, I have to go. Going to Patricio's for pizza with Max. I guess we can double date now. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Oh, perfect. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Jane just left. Really? Is that I missed her? I bet you were. I bet I am. She told me something's been going on between the two of you. What did she say? Look, Max, you know I love you, and I think you're all of these amazing things, but I don't want you to sweep Jamie off her feet into some whirlwind romance, and then too much up and leave her. I would never do that. Are you sure? Because you don't have the best track record. Yeah, I know, but... You never thought you could have her, so you didn't have to take your feelings seriously to actually commit. And Jamie deserves someone who can commit. She was just dating someone who wanted to, and she broke it off with him to be with you. Just... Don't hurt her. Hey, neighbor. Hey. Are you free? I want to show you my painting before I turn it in. Actually, uh, I'm not. I have something to do with work, so... Oh, work? Going on. Jamie, I... I think you should be with Michael. Are you... joking? No. Look, we both... someone who can give you everything. Someone who can commit. Okay, well, I didn't ask you or anyone to commit. Well, it's really good to know you still can. <laughs> I mean, Max, you pursued me. You told me that you had feelings for me that you always have, and now I have feelings for you, and you're pulling away? But why? Because you're so scared of anything even remotely resembling commitment? No. Because I want you to be happy. No, that is not why. It's because this is who you are. You get so excited about something or someone, and then the second it stops being fun and starts being real, you just get scared and run away. You talk a big game about following your heart and living with no regret, and the truth is that is either all talk. Or when it comes to us, there is just no heart and no regret. Every time I'm around you, I get hurt.
Hi, Jamie. It's Renee. I needed your piece last night, and so I have no option but to replace your painting. I'm sorry. trying to call you. Jamie, what's going on? What's going on is I lost my place in the showcase, and I am not going to win the show in Paris, and I have no idea what my future as a professional artist looks like. Even with all of that, I still don't want to give up on painting. Dad, I'm sorry. I know this entire expansion was my idea, and you're trying to help, but I just want to paint and then teach when I can. I know you do. Glad you realized it, too. Hey, you knew? Well, then why didn't you tell me? You had to figure it out on your own. I'm just glad you did it now and not 20 years from now. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Even doing just this was fun. It gave me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. You mean other than your wife? And daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find something else to do. You know, Dad, you want me to be happy, and I want you to be happy, too. Do you love this? If I helped get it running and consult... Definitely. Then, yes. <laughs> I mean, it, it'll be hard without you, oh, but yeah. I'll be happy knowing you're doing exactly what you should be doing. But, Jamie, how did you lose your spot in the showcase? Oh, I messed up my painting. And you can't fix it? No. Someone else. I know, and I completely understand, but I have just poured my heart into this, and I, I was, I was just hoping you could. Oh, thank you. Uh, I can't put this in the showcase. It wouldn't be fair. I understand. But we can still show this. You can? Wow. You'll see. Leave it to me. Uh, Where have you been? I've called a hundred times. I know. I'm sorry. Long story short, right after I told you about Max, he, in typical Max fashion, lost interest and broke it off, and he said he thought I'd be better dating Michael. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So, that's not what happened. And I might have been a little harsh and said that Michael was what was best for you. What? I'm sorry. I had good intention. Off because he wanted what was best for me? Hey. Yeah. Ava, look, I know Max and I do not make sense. But when I'm with him, I feel like I do when I'm painting. You know, like... I think it's where I should be. It's all I've ever wanted for you. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe next time, just like a little less meddling. Deal. <laughs> Besides, you would make the best sister-in-law. <laughs> or aunt. You're pregnant. <gasps> it's still early. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I have a million questions. I want to hear everything. Right now. You have to go find Max. Yes. Is he here? Yeah, he's at the okay. garden. Hi, gotta go. Hey, bye. All right, everyone, if I could have your attention, please. We are about to announce our winner of the Emerging Artist Showcase. Step on stage with me, please. I have to talk to you. Uh, can I wait a minute? I'm sorry. No. 
Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm just in the middle of a job interview. Not an interview. You know the job's yours if you want it. The landscape architect position? There's Tate. Give me a minute. Mm-hmm. Yes. Someone wise, who apparently knows how I should be living my life more than I do, told me that not committing comes with regrets of its own. And you were right. I would regret giving up. I would regret running when I was scared. I would regret not giving myself a chance to see who I can really be. Most of all, I would regret not doing everything I can to be with you. Hold that thought. My painting's being displayed and I really want to show you. Jamie. After the art festival, I want you to find me. It's beautiful. Now, aren't you glad you took my advice? You're still smiling. <laughs> Hallmark Channel premieres a new movie every Saturday night at 8. Tell me, Mr. Devine, what does your garden grow? Condos, from the ground up. Next Saturday... Our beloved community garden is in trouble. Can't you just plant your flowers somewhere else? When life gives you thorns... Show me your hands. Sometimes you have to stop and smell the roses. Sarah Rue and Jordan Bridges star True Love Blooms premieres next Saturday night at 8 on Hallmark Channel.